I'd say you have a clean bill of health for this trip as far as your spine goes, but I think you know you're taking a risk by going on this trip. I think that he's in phenomenal shape, but is he going to be able to do this? I don't know. When I got into my accident 20 years ago, I knew it wasn't an accident. I knew that there was a reason, there was a purpose for me being in a wheelchair. It took me 20 years to find out why. And I don't know if I'm gonna make it or if I'm not gonna make it. That's my tires taking off the first layer of skin. But I promise you one thing, I will give every ounce of my will to see this through. Today is the first day of my new life. Let's see those guns! <laughs> it's like real now. We are hearing over and over and over again, oh my God, there's a guy in a wheelchair on the freeway. So finally, it took me almost getting killed to finally say it's enough for the day. We knew this wasn't gonna be easy. We knew it was going to be dangerous. The heat, along with the wind, it's wearing me out. If his shoulder doesn't hold up. There goes the whole thing. My shoulders are up here. Nine months ago, I was a drug addict. I couldn't inspire one person. Not even myself. Now I'm inspiring strangers. So at, at 2,000 miles, it's, it's too late to give up now. Ah, the human will is limitless. And I'm a testament to it because I am no more special than any person here. We are all gifted in our own ways. 11 states down, three more to go, baby. I did things and lived a life from one end of the spectrum and almost to the other. Of course it's about redemption. When you fall down, you ask for help. And you mean it. Then people can help you and you can move to the place you really want to be. I'm a flawed human who's put forth a heroic effort. Still a lot can go wrong. Please forgive me.